Hello, my friends. It is time to have another Tarot Blitz. There's just so much happening in the news. So let's just jump right into it. We have the Princess of Wales, Catherine, in hospital. They said that she was there for a surgery that was already pre-planned, but it's going to take like 10 to 12 days for her to get out of the hospital and then another few months before she'll be able to return to royal duty. So it must be something pretty um, heavy duty, but I'm going to, out of respect, um, just put out the most positive healing vibes for her. Um, the angle that I would like to look at is that, you know, Harry and Catherine and William, all three of them were best, best friends. Like, I truly believe that Harry really loved Catherine fondly, like really loved her. So I just thought it'd be interesting to just do a little reading and find out will Harry or has Harry reached out to William and could this be the beginning of some some sort of, of connection between the brothers again because it's just been so negative, you know? God bless them. So let's have a look. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, so there's definitely looking at the fine details. I think Harry and Meghan um, really need to be careful about what they say, anything that they put in print, that they don't say anything that could be misconstrued. It'd probably be better to say nothing or just say, you know, um, we are hoping for her full recovery and health or what have you. Um, Ace, oh, 100, 100%. He has reached out to his brother, William. He has said, listen, let's put all this other stuff that, you know, behind us right now, because the most important thing is you and Catherine. And he had clarity of, of, of mind to call them. So yes, there has been a conversation. There's love between those brothers. There's a past, there's a history. It's just, it's so hard to see them not getting along well, but we have the Empress. Um, sometimes I'm afraid because I like when I'm doing the reading, it's like I'm talking, but like, it's like there's a story coming into my head. And as soon as I saw the Queen, uh, the Empress, I thought of Meghan Markle that, you know, she's probably feeling frustrated that they're trying to work on their, the, how people view them. And now Catherine has this issue that just makes her more endearing and people are more worried about her and praying for her. So there's almost a feeling of um, the Empress being a little jealous because my cards, as you normally, if you watch me, you'll see I always read them upright. When I pulled this out, it was actually upside down. So I think there's some, there's just a little something there happening. Um, a lot of stress, a lot of worry, but I think we're at the end of that stress for Catherine. Oh no. We got the Ten of Swords. So there's gonna be some, some sort of ruin, some sort of People are going to be talking about this. People are going to be trying to guess what's going on. Um, it's going to cause a lot of, of talk, a lot of fodder. It's going to be in the newspapers. It's going to be all over. I mean, we're talking about it here right now. Um, judgment. Um, oh. I should stop pulling cards because I just keep pulling cards that are, are getting harsher. So, with that, I'm just going to say, let's really hope and pray that she's okay and that Harry has reached out. I guarantee you he's reached out and there has been kindness between the brothers because he respects and loves Catherine and he respects and loves his brother. But I think that... In time, there may be some kind of misstep by him, especially with the Ten of Swords there, that there may be a misstep on, on Harry and Meghan's part where it might come out like they said something or they're supposedly had said something, you know, that kind of a thing. It could cause a little, little, little gaff to come out. Well, guys, I created a reading for the 2024 election because I thought 
this is going to be something ongoing that we're going to be reviewing and looking over for, you know, until the election. <laughs> I was going to say for years, but it's really like, it's just here. Like it's shocking how quickly everything comes. So I created the spread and I thought I'll do one for the Republicans and one for the Dems. So then that way we can see how everything is working. So let's just, let's just start. So we're going to do the Dems. We're going to do Biden because he's the, he's the, the chief right now. He's the one that's in charge. Let's see how the Dems are currently. Nine of Cups. There's there's something happening with the Dems that there's going to be a win coming up for them. I think, um, you know, they're starting to get their ducks in a row and get their messages out. Um, going for them is a lot of planning. Um, unfortunately, I think there's a lot of planning in trying to control the message about uh, Joe Biden. Um, if you watch mainstream media, you know, they're saying how virile he is and, you know, but then if you watch any other kind of media and it doesn't have to be Fox News, it could just be, you know, like, um, oh God, what, Russell Brand and all those, they're all kind of looking at Biden and saying, you know, this is almost like abuse for, for them to keep him going because he doesn't look like he has the energy or, you know, the, the what to for to get through. Going against them is that energy, is that lack of energy. I mean, you know, it, it's a, it's the toughest job in the world, even at your best, even at, even at your peak, it's the toughest job in the world. And he is, he is having um, difficulty with it, but he is still, you know, he is still gun ho He is still present. So if they try to tell you he's not present of mind, he still is. Now, are there issues? 100%. Is he having some dementia from time to time? 100%. Just saying. In the near future, Knight of Cups, I, I, like I said, there's going to be some kind of win coming for the Democrats that Joe Biden's going to be able to say, hey, listen, this is what we were able to accomplish. We were able to achieve. So right now, there's going to be some good news coming out. If they had the election today, the Dems would be the Ten of Cups and the Republicans would be the Knight of Pentacles. Just too slow like they could they they could have been a contender but right now if the election was this day the Repu the democrats would be the winner the outcome is the ace of cups it's going to be a lot of emotion this is going people are very emotional about this upcoming election and it's going to spill out it's going to spill out on the streets it's going to spill out everywhere because it is becoming um it's 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 becoming reality really quickly. So that was the Democrats. Let's put all those cards back in. And now we're going to look at the Republican Party and do the same, the same spread and look at the Republican Party. So, damn it, damn it. <laughs> I was going to say Democrats, but then I was like, damn it. Uh, Trump got a big win in Iowa, 51%. I mean, he didn't even do any of the um, debates or anything else, and he still won with 51%. I mean, that's a high percentage. And then, oh, anyway, you got Rand Paul coming out and doing the Never Nikki, even though she, became, she was in third place behind DeSantis. So the current feeling around Donald Trump is, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. This is a win. He knows that he got the win, and he's got people behind him. So he is definitely um, putting out his fielders and saying, here, I, I've done this for you. Come scratch my back. This could be, you know, when we look at, um, what's his name? Veek? Verick? Verick? Verick was like very um, positive about Donald Trump, probably trying to figure out a way to get in as his running mate. So we'll see. Going for him. A lot of people are liking what they're seeing in the plan for Donald Trump. People who love Donald Trump love Donald Trump. He's like, he's like a, a god to them. And they are really looking at what's going on. A lot of them feel that what's happening with Donald Trump is unfair, even though we know it's fair. But we're looking at the mob that is following Donald Trump, that see no evil, that see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Going against him is the king of pentacles. Going against him is... Joe Biden and camp going against him 
is the fact that the Democrats have a strong hold. They, are, they have a good record right now. They just need to get the message out stronger. And it's hard for them because they have to keep fighting, not just against the Republicans, but those stupid Republicans, like the Bulberts and stuff like that. It's just so much to deal with. In the near future, ooh, in the near future, my darlings, Republicans, you're going to be getting some really bad news. It's going to be the ruin of Donald Trump. I'm sure this is probably having to do with the E.G. Carroll taking away a lot of his money. Um, he will ruin himself. The people around him won't have to ruin. This is going to be self-destruction. It feels bad because like a party, like you want to see his destruction because of everything that's happened up to this point. But then at the same time, it's like, oh my God, like very scary times. If I was a follower of Donald Trump, I'd be praying for his health that something bad doesn't happen. Right now, if they were going to have to have an election, the Republicans and the Democrats. The, Republic, the Democrats would have the Wheel of Fortune, so luck would be on their side. And the Democrats got the Queen of Pentacles, which is interesting because in the previous reading, we've got, we had the Knight of Pentacles, slow, and, uh, slow to go. Um, the Republicans feel that they're a little bit further ahead, even though they know right now if there was going to be an election today, it would definitely go to the Dems. The outcome is the moon, the shady moon. You know there's going to be stuff that, you know, um, that Trump and them are going to be doing. They're going to be pulling out favors and saying, I'm going to expose you or do what have you. So uh, the Republican Party is going to be like it is. Just a little bit of a mess here and there and everywhere. Interesting. I hope you like that uh, that spread. I enjoyed that one. So the next reading we're going to do, we're going to look at North Korea and the fact that they sent missiles to Ukraine to support Russia. Are we finally going to see, you know, the war in Ukraine start to realize like there's there is there's just people dying there's just people dying there's no end in sight there has to be some sort of peace deal and donald trump coming out and saying that you know he would have peace in 24 hours which would probably mean that putin would have ukraine within 24 hours you know what i mean so let's just have a look and see now that north korea has shown their support for russia will the war in ukraine start to start to quiet down like what's going to happen wheel of fortune it right now it, anything could happen right now it, there's a need for the stop there's a need for the stop of the killing and the and the dying um and that's not just you know what's happening in in ukraine that's also what's happening on the gaza strip and stuff so scary scary um, the Four of Wands, I do think they are going to get a tentative peace deal. It's going to not be firm. It's not going to be something that everybody's going to be like, oh, that's a done deal. That's going to be, that's going to keep. It's a weak deal, but it is a deal all the same. Um, Putin being the King of Swords is going to uh, not be willing to take anything less than getting Ukraine. That is going to be um, the crux of this. And I kind of get the feeling that right now, as the energies have changed and moved, that right now um, it's a very strong possibility that Russia will um, keep Ukraine or they'll try to keep Ukraine as a separate entity but still know it's under Russia rule or there's something going to happen because... It's like they're going to return to the past way of doing things. So, and our last reading, I thought we'll do Bill Barr. Will Bill Barr ever, ever be held accountable for his part that he played in dealing with the Epstein's passing? Because we all know that Epstein's guards were drugged and the video camera was turned off and Bill Barr went to visit him. So will Bill Barr ever be held accountable, responsible? Oh, I just messed up my cards a little bit. Will he ever be held accountable, responsible for his actions, what happened there? And uh, 
will he see? Because I mean, I know I, he's had so much to do with Donald Trump and everything that you know that happened during the D Donald Trump reign. See, every single time I throw the cards down, and I keep saying it wouldn't be a nine of reading if I didn't throw my cards down. <laughs> God, how annoying. <laughs> Anywho, I laugh at myself sometimes. You gotta laugh at yourself. So let's see. Will Bill Barr be held accountable? Yes, darlings, he's going to be held accountable. It might take some time. We might see it in nine months. It could start off in nine weeks. You're going to be hearing whisperings of stuff happening. Bill Barr is, um, you're going to hear about a, a journey that he had taken. There's something that happened prior to Epstein's unfortunate passing. Um, and he was part of it. And we're going to find out uh, slowly strips of what part he had to play. Um, yes, Bill Barr is going to um, be held accountable and has some responsibility. He's going to have to walk away from his positions. Um, he'll probably just become like a, um, you know, somebody just being a commentator on Fox News or something like that. But uh, I just, I was literally just in my head going, will he see jail time? And I got the star. So I really do think that Bill Barr, over the next year or so, will be held accountable. Now, does that mean he'll go to jail or will he be held at home? It could happen. It could be either really, right? So my friends, that is our reading for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of my... Uh, of my spread that I created for our 2024 election. As always, I have our yearly candle lit for each and every one of us. Until the next time we chat, take care, cheerio, and God bless.